Alrighty, what is going on guys? It is Nick here today bringing you guys a bit of a different video. Those of you who have watched me for a while know I don't really stick to any one kind of content. I like to uh, I like to have a range of content that I do, but this is quite unusual for me. So if you guys do enjoy this or you want to see more videos like this, please slap a like on this video or let me know down in the comments that you enjoyed it or whatever, but we're just going to jump right into it. Now, I was looking through the conspiracies subreddit, and most of these are just, like, people talking about, like, is COVID real? Like, all this, like, shit that, like, it's, like, fucking, duh, obviously COVID's real. Like, don't... Anyway, uh, but there is some interesting ones on here that are really just kind of crazy. Now, a lot of these you'd probably get banned for talking about on YouTube, uh, sadly, but not this one, okay? I feel like this one is safe, and I'm really into conspiracy theories. Not necessarily in the way that I believe a lot of conspiracy theories, but that I think it's fascinating how people sort of, I guess make things up to to fill the gaps in knowledge of of humans because humans inherently are fucking stupid right so uh people think of like all this crazy shit and all these like theories and stuff to fill in the gaps and this is a really interesting post so we're just going to go ahead and read it afterward i'll give my thoughts and like you know maybe you guys will have something to contribute down in the comments you know like if you think of something i don't but uh yeah i'm a 20 year old boy with the scorpio as my zodiac so you know i like and think about death and what comes after a lot here is my question, what actually happens when you die? I mean, we have all heard the different stories. Your life flashes before you in seconds. That's actually true. That is a, um, I can't remember where I read this, but it's a reaction in your brain. This is, like, well accepted within, like, science and stuff. There's some sort of, like, reaction when you die. Your brain, like, knows that you're dying, and it, like, sends this, like, wave of memories through you in, like, five seconds or some shit, and, uh, then you're just, you're gone. As far as I know, I don't know if that's exactly how it works, but um, you see a light right before you go, but what if that's not the case? What if you just, you know, die? Let's say, for experiment reasons, you die a death where you don't feel any pain whatsoever. You die and then you just cease to exist. So here's my theories. I think that maybe everything just disappears. Like you, your mind, your memories, the world, the universe, everything. That's crazy to think about. And you know, it's really funny too, because humans actually can't process this understanding that, uh, that you know, certain people believe, which is that everything could just cease to exist when we die. Your brain actually can't imagine not being there, because your brain is there. Your brain does exist in the universe. So to imagine us ascending to a higher plane, or even descending into hell or something, it's crazy. The mind can't comprehend it. You can think about it, you can kind of grasp it a little bit, but you can't really imagine it. It's really odd. You guys know what I mean if you've thought about this kind of stuff or you're super into it. Every time I think about what might happen, I get this weird feeling I can't quite explain. I'm sure one of you know the feeling I'm talking about, but that feeling tells me that something not good happens. Every time I think about it, I think about what happens to the world, because everything you have is your memories, but that you don't have, but that... Wait, what the... What? Everything you have is your memories, but that you don't have, so what comes next? The only thing I can imagine is that you just disappear, and I actually find it extremely scary. And everybody, everybody feels the same way about this. Nobody wants to disappear off Earth, okay? Even atheists, man. There's a lot of atheists that uh, they believe in some weird... They're not really atheists when they believe this, but they still call themselves atheists. They believe in this weird, like, ascended plane or, you know, whatever the hell you want to call it. Or this, this new form of consciousness that they believe they ascend to when they die, a lot of them. And uh, it, it's really interesting because people will create these, these alternate realities of where they're going to go after they die to sort of cope with this sort of thing. Not the dying part, but the part that comes after. Is it just me? I tried explaining everything the way I'm feeling it when I think about it, but I don't think it makes any sense. What are your thoughts on everything? So, this is almost like a form of existential dread, okay? This person clearly is thinking about their existence and when they pass away. So, it's almost not existential dread. It's not existential dread, just to be clear. But when you pass away... Nobody really knows what's going to happen, okay? For example, I'm a Christian. I have an idea of what will happen to me when I die, okay? 
Nobody knows that this is what's actually going to happen. And if a Christian tells you that they 100% without a doubt believe that they are going to this place when they die, they're lying. Because nobody really knows. You could go to hell. I mean, you, you know, you don't fucking know. Um, go, to believe in God, you have to have a thing called faith. All right? That faith is the thing that you truly believe in. The faith is uh, where your trust lies in God and you have faith that God exists after you die, and that's why you're so confident about it. Like, me personally, I would like to believe that I will go to heaven when I die, okay? Sounds fucking crazy, I know, but that's what I believe. All people believe some form of this, okay? Nobody wants to believe they're just gone and dead when they die. Now, there is some, uh, like, black-pilled atheists that will tell you they do believe that, okay? They'll say, well, that's what happens, so get over it. Personally, I, I don't care if you believe that. I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you to believe the way I believe. I think all religions are a great idea, and I think they give people purpose that they otherwise wouldn't have, even if some of them seem far out there, or like, clearly this religion is fucking not the way things are, or whatever. Um, I think that religions give people purpose, and I, while I'm not personally a religious person, I wouldn't consider myself, I believe uh, being a Christian is more of a, a mindset uh, and and not necessarily rules to follow, but a guide of, um, you know, just being a kind person, not loving your neighbor, not being a dick, you know, that sort of thing. Um, that's how I see Christianity. And anybody who's like super versed in Christianity knows that a lot of people don't necessarily see Christianity as a religion. It's more of like a rule book without really being a rule book, because I don't like calling it a rule book. There's not a whole lot of rules. It's just don't be an asshole, believe in God, the Father, you know, the Trinity, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, so me personally, what do I think about this post here? I think this person needs some purpose, okay? They obviously probably have some purpose in their life. We all do. We have something that we go after, something that we are tied to, you know, uh, on this earth. And I think this person might be in search of possibly some sort of religion or some sort of purpose uh, in the afterlife, is I guess what I'm saying. Um, and that is that can be a very scary thing for a lot of people, because a lot of people grow up and their parents don't talk to them about this kind of thing. I grew up in a Christian home, okay? I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like I grew up as a, as, as a Christian kid going to a Christian church. I went to youth group, all that kind of stuff, and it stuck with me. Okay, so that's just how I am. This guy, it seems like maybe his parents didn't talk to him about this sort of thing. He's he's growing up, you know, he's 20 years old. He said he's a 20 year old boy. I wouldn't really consider a 20 year old a boy. I mean, I'm 22. Some might call me a boy. I look pretty young, though. Like, I, I don't know. I have a fucking baby face. So uh, maybe this guy does, too. Maybe that's why he called himself a boy. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, I, I definitely understand. And I wish I could, like, talk to this guy and be like, look, man, you know, uh, uh, you just got to. Got to get out there and, and do a lot of like, uh, what do you call that? Almost like soul searching, almost like figuring out what pulls you in, you know, what are you attracted to? And don't let yourself get pulled into that negative energy, okay? There's a whole lot of people these days uh, in their political and like religious ideology that are talking about uh, they f hate the world and all this weird shit and just really dark shit. Like they, they believe they need to do bad deeds and all this stuff. I hope this guy doesn't get sucked into one of those things, but he seems seems like a pretty upstanding young man. You know, I'm sure someone uh, that's hopefully not of the devil's order contacts him and gets him, uh, th you know, gets the gears turning, gives him some some food for thought as far as religion goes, gives him something to, uh, to look into. Maybe he wants to be a part of some sort of group or something like that. This guy says, dude, no one knows. If you believe in spirits, then you know our consciousness doesn't end when we die, but time ceases to exist. It is scary to think about, but that's why most people don't think about it. I actually didn't start thinking about it until I was 35 and the pandemic started. I'm thankful I had so many years of blissful ignorance thinking I would love, love forever, live forever, love forever, because existential anxiety is the worst thing ever. And see, this is an example of someone like this guy who wrote the post, but this guy's thinking about it a lot earlier on in his life, whereas this guy, like he said, he was 35 when he started thinking about where you go when you die. That's weird to me because I've grown up in a spiritual environment where I was taught that you have to nurture your spirit. You have to kind of carry yourself through life a certain way in a positive way and put out positive energy if you want to get that back. And eventually, if you do things right, hopefully you end up 
uh, up there with the big man, you know? If you really want to know what happens when you die, take six grams of hallucinogenic mushrooms. <laughs> This guy goes straight to the drugs, bro. He's like, you want to know what happens when you die, bro? Do drugs. Now, I actually believe in mushrooms a lot, though. This guy is actually not far off. I'm going to read this. I'm not going to give my opinion too much because there's some weird stuff going on. YouTube doesn't like it when you talk about this sort of thing. I'm not going to fucking push it home. Don't worry, YouTube. I'm not trying to get banned. But if you really want to know what happens when you die, take six grams of hallucinogenic mushrooms and sit in a dark room. You will leave your body and learn that consciousness is infinite. You are not your human body or brain. They are just the hardware that receives the signal of consciousness, which comes from God of which we are all a part. This is a really interesting take, and it's really kind of weird because if you see a lot of, uh, I I'm seeing this now, a lot of like Christians are really into like psilocybin and like the effects of it. Because if you believe in God, like me personally, I'm not weird about weed. I'm not weird about edibles or CBD or any of that stuff. I don't believe it should all go away and, you know, oh, it's mind altering. I don't need any part of No, I don't believe that at all. Okay. I actually believe CBD and like all this, like, but CBD and like THC and all that stuff has a place on this earth. Okay. God put it here for a reason. So this guy is not far off. I'm not going to say go take mushrooms if you want to fucking get rid of your existential crisis, but all I'm going to say is like, he's got a point to a degree, okay? God put things on this earth for a reason. He put these hallucinogenic mushrooms here for a reason. Obviously, that doesn't mean go do fucking meth or some shit, okay? Meth is not ever fucking good. That's fucking completely human-made bullshit with all kinds of chemicals and fucking toilet bowl cleaner type shit, all kinds of bullshit like that. So don't go and do drugs, okay? But uh, just food for thought. Hey guys, it's me again. It's editing Nick here. Uh, I'm editing the video right now. And I just noticed I didn't talk at all about the uh, health benefits and stuff of CBD or, you know, marijuana, um, THC even, specifically for like cancer patients and stuff. And there is just a ton of health benefits to uh, you know, just weed in general, cannabis, the whole plant, all of it can be used in some way or another. Uh, and if you look at any like plant or uh, something that drugs are derived from, there's always positives to each of them. I'm not telling people that they should go out and do drugs. I'm just saying that everything does have a purpose on this earth. And it does seem like we're coming to the brink of understanding that psilocybin and, you know, I guess magic mushrooms in general are a link to a much greater plane of existence that humans previously didn't really realize was so spiritual and kind of connected us further with God and uh, the afterlife and just our existence in general and understanding things. But yeah, on with the video. No one can definitely give you an answer because no one knows. I have read a good bit on the subject. Many have said that they relive every second of their lives beginning to end like they are actually reliving it. Every joy, pain, laughter, sadness, I've read some that say there's a warm, white, loving light that fills them, and I have also read some that said dying isn't the scary part, but living is. That's all I know. I hope it helps. And that's really, this is actually a really interesting take, because um, I've actually heard the same thing. Now, obviously, no one knows what's going to happen when you die. Nobody knows if you go to some fucking ascendant plane or, or what. But um, it, it, what I do know is that it actually does make sense for you to relive your life, because... If there was some sort of creator, some sort of god out there, he would want to show you what you fucked up on, right? Because you're not going to remember that shit, so it would actually make a lot of sense for you to relive your life and sit there and go through all the pain and emotion. And then at the end, maybe this figure steps in and goes, are you ready? And, it, you know, it really depends. We all do really fucked up things during our lives, a lot of us, that we regret. I think all of us have at least one or two regrets, you know, maybe someone we screwed over or... Uh, a bad mistake in our, our judgment or something that we did that we're not proud of, whatever it might be. And um, to say that you have to be perfect to be a part of this afterlife would just be ridiculous. So to some degree, it's almost like you have to believe to get in, but you don't have to be perfect. The goal is to become 
as good as humanly possible, but everybody's going to make mistakes. At least in most religions, that's what, mo what my understanding is. A whole lot of religions don't necessarily say that, like, if you make one mistake, you're fucked, you're not coming here. Like, that's not usually how it works. It's usually more of a mindset that they try to get you in. Obviously, everyone's going to slip up, everyone's going to make mistakes, everyone is going to sin, if you will. And uh, so this is definitely a really interesting take for them to be like, yeah, none of this shit really matters, but once you die, you go through this sort of film in your in your afterlife. I'm not sure. It's really interesting. It's really crazy because all this stuff can really exist under the order of Christianity or under the order of like many different religions. So it's really cool to read stuff like this and just imagine like this could really just be how it works. Like God puts you through a movie of your life and then goes, do you realize how much you fucked up now? And are you ready to leave that all behind or whatever? You know what I mean? You have an immortal soul. I thought that said a moral soul. I almost, <laughs> I almost, I'm not going to read all this, but, uh, pr interesting stuff. I'm sure if you guys want to pause it and read it, be my guest. Um, but yeah, I, this is just really interesting. I just love conversations like this. And the reason I really wanted to, to do this with you guys and read this post is because I want to start doing more uh, videos like this where I'm just kind of reading stuff on Reddit, uh, maybe doing reactions on YouTube where I pause and give thoughts and stuff. Uh, because I've always kind of felt pulled toward this type of content. Okay, I just want to clarify when I say this type of content, I mean like just talking about ideas in general, not even necessarily like talking about the afterlife or anything, but you know, just look, maybe even looking at creepy stories or creepy conspiracy theories, things that make your skin crawl, just interesting topics in general is what I mean about these kinds of videos. I just want to clarify. And I feel like I could do a pretty good job at it because I could just talk for hours about this kind of shit. And when I come across a post like this, it just irks me because I'm like, man, I wish I could make a video about this, but I just don't like to show my face and stuff. And I think it's just time to get over it and try and, uh, and, and and jump into this kind of content, you know? So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you slap a like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and favorite. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on, you know, subjects you'd like me to cover, videos you want me to look at, look at, maybe a Reddit post that you want me to do this kind of video with, whatever this is called, I don't know. Um, just let me know. Also, if you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear in the comments. Other than that, guys, make sure you slap a like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and favorite. We'll see you guys next video and peace the damn hell out.